Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying a monomial by a binomial. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is this topic. Now, how are we going to multiply a monomial by a binomial? By the way, when we say monomial, it is an expression with a single term. Next, when you say binomial, it is, it is an expression that has two terms. So here's the step. We will distribute the monomial or multiply the monomial to each term in the binomial using the distributive property. And to show you how distributive property works, we have here the expression A times B plus C. This is the monomial. This is the binomial. We will multiply this or distribute this one here, A times B. Their product is AB. A times C, the product is AC. As you can see, I have distributed the monomial to the terms of the binomial. Let's get started. We have here 3x times 2x plus 5. So here, the monomial is 3x and the binomial is 2x plus 5. We will distribute 3x one by one, and it goes like this. 3x times 2x, so let me write it first, times 2x plus 3x times the second term which is 5. And by the way, for you to overcome this kind of topic, you need to know how to use the loss of exponents. And you can see it here, by the way. So what is 3x times 2x? 3 times 2 is 6. And now for the variables, x times x, that would be x squared. So let me give you something or an idea. I copied the same variable, then I have added the exponents, which is 1 plus 1. That is 6x squared. Next, plus 3x times 5. 3 times 5 is 15, and then I will simply copy x because 5 doesn't have the variable x. And now, here's a question. Can we combine 6x squared plus 15x? No, because they are different terms. So we can declare that this is our final answer. The answer is 6x squared plus 15x. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given this 5xy. This one is a monomial, though it has two different variables. Still, it is a monomial. Times 3x plus 2y. So first, we will distribute this here. That is 5xy times 3x plus distribute this one, copy, times 5xy times the second term, which is the 2y. Now, let's multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. And now, let's go with, this, with the variable. x times x is the same as this one, which is x squared. Then, copy the variable y. Next here, plus 5 times 2, that is 10. Your x is a single variable x here, so we will copy the x. And for the y, y times y is y squared. Now, can you combine them? No. Though they are the same variables, but here, as you can see, the x here has the exponent of 2, and the x here has the exponent of 1 only. So they are different. So we can declare that the product of these two expressions is 15x squared y plus 10xy squared. And this is the answer. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, let me adjust the paper first. Okay, so can, can I have the space? We have negative 5x squared times 2x minus 7. So we will distribute this one, one by one. So we have the quantity of 5x squared times the 2x. Next is, I will put plus, don't be confused. Though this one is subtraction, I will use plus. Then I will multiply this to this. It will be negative 5x squared. Then times, I will use the negative 7. Let's continue. Negative 5 times 2. That would be negative 10. 
for the variable x, copy. This is 2 and this is 1. So this is negative 10 x cubed. And here, let's multiply. Negative times negative is positive. So this is plus. Then 5 times 7, that would be 35. And then, since it doesn't have the variable, we can just copy x squared. So here, we can declare that the answer is negative 10 x cubed plus 35 x squared. Okay? I hope you learned something from these three examples. Now, we can continue with item number 4. For number 4, we have 6a squared b times 3ab minus 4b. So I will go direct to the point because I have spent I have spent a lot of time from numbers 1, 2, and 3 in breaking down the process. So here, as I distribute, we will directly multiply the numbers and the variables. 6 times a, that is equal to 18. And for the variable a, copy a, 2, and then plus 1, that would be a cube. And as for the variable b, it has an exponent of 1 plus 1, so that would be b squared. Okay, I hope you are doing fine. And then here, minus, because this one is positive, positive times negative is negative. 6 times 4, that would be 24. And as for the variable, I will just simply copy a square. And as for the variable b, b times b, that would be b squared. And as you can see, this is the answer. 18 a cubed b squared minus 24 a squared b squared. So let's continue our discussion. Let's have this item. We have item number 5 and number 6. Now here, guys, so we have 7x squared y times 2x squared y plus 5. So one by one, we will use, or we will distribute the monomial here. So we will go direct to the point. 7 times 2 is 14. For the variable x, I will copy x. Then I will add the exponents. 2 plus 2, that would be 4. For the variable y, I will put y, and then it has exponent of 1. Exponent of 1, so that is 2. And it's here to here. Simply multiply the numbers, 7 times 5 is plus 35, and now, as you can see, it doesn't have the variable, I will simply copy x squared y. And as you can see, the product of the two expressions, or the binomial and binomial, is simply 14, x to the fourth power, y squared plus 35x squared y. And that's it, guys. So as part of our routine, I will let you use what you have learned from this topic and let me know in our comment section what is your answer in item number six. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!